Welcome back everybody to another episode of the Ara Adunaim campaign and last chapter we would or last episode we were basically inflicting some fatalities onto Mordor. So we took Kalanhad, we did an auto resolve on that one because it was uh, basically it was it was 17 men lost for the entire garrison of Kalanhad which was just a general I think it was or a general and something else but I think it was just a general. So we've got Kalanhad and then uh, Indilzar managed to protect Onadrith from, <coughs> excuse me, from. And then in the north, Gimilzor has liberated Lim here from Mordor, wiping out some great beasts and the last Ologai of the northern forces for Mordor. And now he's just camping on the uh, river pass into Karas Galathon for now, uh, only because it's under siege and. We'll see how the turn flip goes. Yes, um, I did Lord. put him there and sort of pose a question to you guys about whether you think he should come up north and help or whether he should head back south. And um, it seems like most people think he should probably head back southwards. Um, the elves should be fine on their own over there. So, uh, yeah, maybe we'll maybe we'll leave them alone. But we'll, we'll see what happens during the turn flip. Apart from that, uh, we are building up a force steadily over in the central provinces of our territory. That is going to head southwards across the mountain pass here and into Mordor's territory and hopefully we're going to start inflicting some damage on Mordor in the far west of Old Gondor. So um, maybe that'll act as, act as a distraction for some of these forces over here. Maybe some of them will start heading back around this way or something. Maybe Mordor will start anticipating an attack on its central provinces from the west. Who knows? But um, it's just an attempt to try and damage some of Mordor's resources. So that's that's the whole purpose of that. And also, as rightly pointed out, the um, the Principality of Dol Amroth still owns Gobel Tolfalas, as far as we can tell. They're still alive, so we're assuming they own Gobel Tolfalas, unless the Haradrim have maybe crossed onto the island and taken it. I don't know. Uh, but we know that they still exist because we've seen their, their diplomacy pop up every now and again and we can also see them on the diplomacy list so we know that they still exist at this moment in time so that is good maybe we'll get a spy over in that direction not too sure yet my lord i have a spare spy here so maybe i'll send him onwards just to have a little quiet. scout around see what's what approaching quiet obviously we know mortals uh, gondor's dead but uh, we'll see what's what and then the other thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be making sure that we're sending some troops from west to east. We're going to try and make sure that the garrisons are kept fully stocked, especially at Oldberg, which seems to be constantly getting attacked by Mordor. But we need to make sure that everybody is uh, funneling themselves over this way, so Olodrith, Oldberg. Um, and we'll basically what we'll do is we'll just jump units across. So we'll go from Hornberg to Edoras, Edoras to uh, Oldberg, and that's, that's, that's how we're going to play that. Do we have we have no cavalry here we only have one two archers so maybe my we lord. can how much space have we got well, three lord. okay that works out quite nicely so my if lord. we take Orders. Mm, these three will, my lord. By your command. top up the garrison at oldberg i'm gonna retrain the smaller one okay so then we need to... What are we hiring? We're hiring a little bit here. So let's get some more stuff started. We're going to leave the Rohirrim units behind. Uh, we moved two archers from Edoras. So let's replace them with two new ones. Order. Yes. Lovely. And we need to move some stuff over to Onadrith if possible. So we're going to take My these two across. Order. As you wish. That also makes the population a little bit happier as well. Your will, my lord. We'll just shuffle some stuff command. across, and we'll we've got some units being recruited steadily. Okay. Yeah, I think we're good there. Lovely. So we're going to make sure we try and keep some kind of supply chain of units going from west to east. And as far as we are concerned, in terms of uh, conqueror Argimilcad. He will be following the mountain pass up to Goblin Town. That depends if Goblin Town still exists. The Dudodine have amassed quite a force around Gob uh, Goblin Town, so it's quite Your possible will, that they will uh, take that. 
But if they do, that's not such a bad thing. We could then move on to Methelberg ourselves. And what we could do is take Methelberg, we'll gift it to the Anduin Vale, and we'll head southwards with Gimmelkad, and we'll take out um, Erui, which, is, which I believe is the last goblin town. My lord, approaching... Well, it will be the last goblin town anyway. Your so, lord, yeah, we'll just take out these little provinces along here. Do we have a... Uh, no. Oh, he's there. He's standing next to it. And there's Erebor. So literally the goblins have Goblin Town, they have Methelberg, and then they have Evruri as well. So they have three provinces remaining that we can see. Where are... Do I have a diplomat? Yes, my lord. I have a diplomat there. You can't go through. Yes, my lord. My lord. It's way... Do I have... I thought I had a third one. Or am I maybe thinking of my Mirkwood campaign? I might be thinking of the Mirkwood campaign. Look how many spies I've got. <laughs> the Ara Adonai are the master spies. We have spies everywhere. Okay. So maybe I need to recruit a new spy. Uh, not a new spy, a new diplomat. Because he's looking after... Ah, uh, well, hmm. Do I need to recruit a new diplomat? Probably not, Yes, actually. my lord. Yeah, we'll get this guy moving again. Without question, my lord. There's my spy there. My lord. We're obviously presuming that the, the goblins haven't taken anything in the north. I don't think they have. I think Erebor <coughs> has pretty much conquered the, all that stuff. So yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. Uh, let's see what. How is our recruitment going? So we got. What was I replacing in here? I can't even remember anymore. Uh, it was replacing the. Phalanx and the Halberd. So we've got two turns for loads of stuff. I think I was going to replace some of his basic archers with these new ones, wasn't I? As well. Okay. So we've got a couple of turns yet until Gimmelkad can start moving. Um, I think... I don't, well, I don't think there's anything else that we can achieve. Oh, it's neutral. I was going to go take the fort. It's like, oh yeah, we'll just quickly take that fort. No, they're neutral. Yeah, so we need to get some troops down to Kalanhad so that when we can take uh, Gimel Thon from Kalanhad and go and attack Minas Tirith. Or maybe just take all four of these. But I think we'll start with Minas Tirith. I think Minas Tirith will be the best, best place to start. Right, I think we are pretty much done for this turn. That's not going to happen. So we're going to 160. see what we can or what happens during this turn flip so just a reminder as well if you guys have missed it i have put a new poll on the community tabs for the channel it is just asking you guys which mod or total war game you think i should go on to once either this campaign or the Merkwood campaign have come to an end and the choices are pretty simple it's either another ago campaign or we go back to dac or we go to vanilla medieval 2 or there's also an other option if you want to put your own suggestions down as well at the moment of this recording it is currently neck and neck for ago and dac so i think third age is pretty much going to be winning for the next campaign um whether it i think if it stays at head to head for the two mods what the i'll probably do is i will us. just we choose one myself i'll just choose one of the two that i've been enjoying the most i don't know we'll be pick, i'll pick one of them looks like the dinner dine failed at goblin town that's not good your will my lord Pop you in there yes that's fine Yep. Isengard, Kazadun West. So we've got, we've got some decent archers in uh, Isengard now. Could upgrade the armorer. Can now get some infantry at uh, Kazadun West, which is good. I think I might go for an armorer. Gives us a bit of an increase in income as well. Not too much, but it gives us a bit of an armor boost as well. I think Isengard would be a great factory for us to produce better armor. So, Oldberg is under siege. 
Cannon head. Your Captain Nagbug. Oh, he's got you. great beasts. Well, that's not very good. Yes, my lord. I was going to try and get you to return home, wasn't I? So let's yes. try and steadily make no your way back through the like forest. My lord. My lord. Uh, do you lord have night lord. attack? That is a question. You don't. Ah, oh, that'd have been. If he had night attack, that would have been perfect. I could have attacked these two individually. I'm gonna stick there is you. also this army up in the north, which also has great beasts in it. Uh, yes, my lord. Dear. Have a taste of my blade. It would also be nice if I could have got to Entwade and at least reduce Mordor's territory by one. All right, the Lorien capital is safe, lord, so that is lord. absolutely fantastic. So let's move. Down. With honor, my lord. Approaching. Yes, my lord. So Gimel Zor is going to be marching Your orders, my lord. into Mordor's territory from the north. Engage. Or we could just go straight for Isengard. To battle. Might go straight for Isengard, then that wipes them out. That's one of our two objectives completed. Alright. I suppose we'll just retrain one of them then. Yes, my lord. Edendil Zar, let's move you. Where shall I move you? We've got a lot of Mordor troops entering the area. I'm gonna stick you! You've got trolls. You've got trolls. And you have great beasts. So we have three stacks in the Onodrith territory. We have two around Oldberg. Hmm... Right, I'll come to a decision shortly. Let's get, let's make sure we're getting everything prepared over here. So what was I? Right, two archers, lovely. Will, my By your way. command, we can go no further today. So you guys were building forces there. some mercenaries there that we can use as well. I think Anulond is probably going to be one of our first targets. Let's just move our spy along. Or we can go for Tharagrondos. Unless Enedwaith takes it. Small garrison. Middleman culture is at 71. Obviously Enedwaith owned that at one point, so that's why the culture is so high. Um, but yeah, we're just going to put together a small force. We've got two turns there. Those guys. Orders. Uh, you guys can head down here too. Oh, actually, was I recruiting you for something else? Nope, screw it. I'm going to send them south. My lord. Yes. March we'll get our knights next turn. Oh, two turns later. for them as well, actually. I thought that was next turn. Ships ready. So we are getting an extra boat. Ships ready. Yeah, so I'm, I'm quite happy with the plan of building a small force to move down into West, Old West Gondor. If Enedwraith takes Theragrondos, that'd be fine. I will My move Lord. on and take uh, Anulond. That'd be perfectly fine My for Lord. me. And that gives us a little bit of a staging ground if we wanted to move from West to East in My Lord. Old Gondor territory. Approaching Brethiel. Approaching See, Mordor's quietly. there. Approaching Mordor's there. I'm just wondering where... Harad is if they've even made it this far north. They may not have made it this far north. Um, well, your orders. Untrustworthy foe. What lies do you bring us then? Your boy, your that ceasefire sorted as standard, standard practice. Probably orders. could do with putting some I troops. Get to free up keep in there for now. Because then I can always get a ceasefire and then move them back across to Edoras if I needed to. So yeah, we'll just get ceasefire. Your order, Indilzar, let's move you somewhere. I'm going to need a lot more halberdiers. I can tell you that much. Yes, my lord. Indilzar, I would like to move you and get you to attack Enedwaith. Uh, sorry, Entwaid. Clear this little town out. 
take this for ourselves. Your orders, my lord. So maybe I'll just move you yes. into the trees. With honor. Can you not hide? Or are those trees too small? Yes. I have no idea. I was hoping I'd be able to like hide you, but apparently you can't hide. Uh huh. Okay, well we'll just leave you there then, I suppose. One more turn up here, so we're just gonna just gonna wait for that countdown to finish there for those troops. Dino dying are amassing some more forces. Oh, stack is back. So maybe, um, maybe the Dunedain didn't even attempt to take Goblin Town. Oh, the dwarves! The dwarves are here. Love it. We may not even need our Gimelkad in go near Goblin Town. I mean, if I could take Goblin Town, that'd be great. <laughs> if I can have it. But uh, if if our friends, if our neutral friends take it, then that's not the end of the world either. Yep, that's fine. Tack Oldberg, standard practice. The enemy lay siege to our people. Well, they didn't go for Onodrith, which I find very unusual. And their armies are bypassing my forces to head southwards. And they may be trying to get to Kalanhad, potentially. Blocked. <laughs> I like just watching enemy movements and just watching them getting ready to be blocked by my own forces. It's great. Okay. Um. Indications. Dominion of Isengard. So so. More with Mordor. That's fine. Construction at Ginyard. We have a barracks now. At Ginyard. Lovely. So we can get some troops there ourselves. Perfect. Wooden Castle of Eisenrun is ready to upgrade. 4292. Oh, actually, that reminds me. I was advised not to upgrade the stronghold. So I will pause that then. I was asked not to upgrade it. 4292. No, don't have enough. Okay. Yes, my lord. Well, I might as well go take Entwave while the uh, war is ongoing. Your orders, my lord. With honor, my lord. My lord. Let's move my spies my along. Lord. Approaching quietly. Approaching quietly. Isn't God, are you at war with. You are with, Do with Dogledore. I thought you were. I wasn't 100% sure. For a, for a second, then I kind of doubted myself. I was like, are you at war with him? Yeah, they are. Right, let's take out some troops. So, we have one, two, three, four new archers there, and that was to replace all four of these guys, wasn't it? So let's pull you guys out. And we'll start moving these guys up. Orders, my lord. By your command. That's those four. And then I have one, two, three, four there. So Your one, will, two. And what else was I going to replace? Oh, three. Your will, my lord. I think it was that one my as well, lord. wasn't it? Four. I think that's wish. what I was going to be doing. Joining forces, my lord. Orders. Right. You lads. Uh... Your will, my lord. My lord. That's what combine. Death. Armies, my lord. Yes, my lord. Dunedain, would you be interested Your in orders. a discussion? What is it you wish to discuss? About an alliance? I do not no. believe. Good I day do. to you. They have no interest. <laughs> okay, so once we've got all these 
Right, you guys. Got that. Joining forces, and that. Orders. So we've got four Your and four. Love it. Right, so that army is going to be ready next turn to start moving up northwards to Goblin Town if it's still standing. Approaching. Is that what you want? Small force. Mm, reasonable garrison if the AI uses it correctly, which it probably won't. The auto uh, oh, I was going to say the alternative would come down here and come through here, but the Lorien won't let us do that, I don't think. If we couldn't even get our diplomat to walk through. I don't think we can get an army to march through. Okay, right. Uh, Indilzar, yes, let's get you to attack Entwave. As you command, we'll attack we that in a second. Prevail. We have 3,882 yes. on hand. We've got some buildings being constructed for the economy. Um, I want to save up for a stronghold at some point. My lord. Your will, my lord. March to exhaustion. One more turn Continuing there. Later. One more turn here. So that army will be ready to move southwards. Thorough Grondost is still standing. Enderdwaith has not taken it yet. That's a bit of a shame. Kind of hoped they would have done by now. Population is 789, uh, 759. Very, very slow population growth. Two turns there. Two turns there. You've got nothing going on. But you don't even have a barracks. Why do you not even have a barracks? <laughs> um, so I could go for a barracks at Remena. Three turns for Brunos to be upgraded. I could go for a market in Hazardoom. Actually, that increases, increases trade quite a little bit. So maybe I'll do that. Two turns there. Imladris. One more turn for barracks. Okay, I think I'll leave it at that then. So maybe I'll go for a... Actually, I might go for an archery range at Romana because you don't have the base... You don't have any decent archers. You've just got the basic ones. Okay, so we've got some economic buildings being constructed. So let's um, Your orders, have our first battle of the day. We shall engage. Indilzar versus Muzrad. So it's just a general's bodyguard, I think. Yep. Versus, and um, two halberds in the Baruch versus my entire force. Three ballistas. As if I've got three ballistas. This is ridiculous. Right. Let's uh, take Enetwaid. Let's take, let's take Enetwaid. Attack! All right, welcome to Entwade, which looks like it is nothing more than a typical orc camp. So let's grab all of the ballistas together. He has no missile units, so we are perfectly fine. Archers over there. Okay, we got. My halberdiers. Uh, yeah, that'll do. And then I've got my heavy hitting units, which I'll keep together as well. Along with the general. Uh, what group are you? Five. And then I've got my knights as well. Excellent. All right, let's bring the blisters forward. Archers, I'm going to put you over here. No need to run, just walk. In fact, my general can be a separate entity. He'll just follow the army, the group. I love that the Rohan troops, the Erling Axemen, have got our emblem on the shields. That is a brilliant little ad additional detail. I wouldn't have been mad if they just kept the standard Rohan style on their shields. I think it would be quite cool. It would be almost like um, like a paying homage to the old lands that they used to, used to be Rohan. That is now part of the Arhad and Aim Empire. But the fact that the modders have actually allowed for a change in detail is fantastic. I love that. That's so good. 
I bet it's not even a new detail. I bet it's something that I have would have seen in previous battles before and I just neglected to do so. Alright, let's fast forward here. Ooh, that was terrible shooting. Breach the enemy's walls. There we go. Okay. Gate is down. We have some black Uruk halberdiers over here. So they spread their force out a little bit. Big group over there, but they're hidden behind the... What is that? That's a beast cage, isn't it? With Aztec prisoners in it. That makes sense. Um, let's... Target that. Oh, they're coming out. They are actually coming out. Right. Halberdier's forward, quick. Move, 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 move. Halberdier versus Halberdier. Get into position. Archers are going to try and soften them a little bit. Maybe get a few kills. Right. Let's get one of you. Let's get a couple of you to run past. Archers hold fire. We're going to charge our halberdiers into theirs. Around to the flank. We're going to try and surround them. There we are. In the meantime, ballistas. Um, let's try and get you to target that bodyguard, shall we? The battle is very much in our favour. Victory will be ours. Move in. Finish them off. Sub 100. That's good. Now would be a great time. The bodyguard is currently merged with their Uruks. So if we can get the shots... Here we go. Incoming. Off, 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 off. Oh, those are good ones. That was a good... That was a good volley. There's only 46 left. Take them out. I'm glad that you guys recommended I take my halberdiers out of wall formation. They are a lot better as shot troops, evidently. Oh, some good hits there. Excellent hits. What are you guys doing? 24. get to just sit here very often and listen to the um, to the battle chatter of enemy tr of our troops and enemy troops and it's actually quite interesting I was just listening to a couple of guys saying I need help here and stuff like that pretty cool little details like that pretty cool alright blisters hold fire let's let them uh, bunch up again it's not finished yet. How many you got left? Is that it? Oh, good. We've captured the enemy's walls. Oh, one's escaped. Well, that's fine. One escaping is absolutely fine. Right, let's get some phalanx in here. Do the second unit next to them there. Excuse me, group one. Let's get <coughs> you guys over here. There we 
go. Are they all bunched up again? Lovely. Alright, let's target bodyguard, Urx, Halberts. We are ready to strike. Right, let's get our archers together over here and we're just gonna run them. I don't want to accidentally shoot my own men with my halberdier, uh, with my ballista. So we're going to get my archers to group up at the front and just run across the wall. Overall, not a bad little skirmish at the front there. Here come the first volleys. Oh, some of them landed a little short. The others picked up. The enemy are badly bloodied. Up. That's good. They have lost half their men. I shot my own men. Well, there goes my whole plan of not shooting my own men. Oopsies. It's because the bodyguard moved forward. Oh, you guys are out of ammo. Right, let's get our halberdiers moving this way. The battle is very much in our favour. Victory will be ours. We are ready to strike. We are here. Got a general in there as well. So what I'll probably do is I'll get four of my halberdiers to go for the centre while the other one helps against the bodyguard. Uh, so maybe at this unit help against the bodyguard. These two come across here. We'll keep a couple on the flank ready to outmaneuver the enemy. Bodyguard's down to 16. <coughs> so we don't need that much help, but I might as well just lend assistance where I can. Oh. The enemy general lies dead. Lovely. Start targeting that. Ah, oh, finished. Nice. In which case, <coughs> let's get you guys running this way. Get a unit around the other side as well. Maybe we'll get some cavalry up here. Archers aren't really managing to achieve too much here. So let's just hold fire now. We'll move in. The armor hitting units. Let's get this unit to move around a little bit more rather than bunching up on this corner. Yeah. The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. Yeah, now you guys are moving in. And my guys are actually not too bad. They're still very tired but they're not exhausted which is good. Move in. Oh that was a good charge there. We actually managed to impale one of them. General 
moving up as well. Halberdiers are actually, or halberds, are actually going down faster than the Black Uruks. <laughs> I'm bothering to move stuff up. I haven't even got half my army in yet. <laughs> That's probably a little bit of an exaggeration. I have got at least half, but... Might as well just fast forward. So we lost 5% of our army taking this place. Now we've completely surrounded these surviving halberds. Awed by the there victory we have won here today. 101 for 615. So, yeah, I mean, we could have probably done a little bit better than that. I think I'm probably going to use my archers a little bit more. But at the end of the day, the enemy has... They were ar they, all three of them were armoured units. So my archers really weren't going to do too much. I think the, the ballistas did quite well where they were. I could have brought my javelins in, actually. But I think 101 is fine. 2,400, just over 2,400 men remaining in uh, Indilzar's army, so that's fine. And we've also taken Entweight, so that's another mortal territory lost. And now we can see if we can get a ceasefire, so let's get back to the campaign map. We have triumphed! And... Milord, our courage and honour have yeah. conquered! Give me your money. Okay, Lord Dawinian, very good. Ooh, we've been through relations. Right, we'll retry, repair that. We'll retrain those two. And we'll start getting the uh, culture growing for us. Do we have any culture here yet? 1%. Okay, right. Yes, my lord. So, Abrazan, I'm afraid you're going to have to find yourself a new place to do diplomacy. So, actually, I'm going to bring him down this way. Yes. A lot of Mordor troops in this direction. I'm actually going to get him to hear you out, speak here. Complaints. Goodbye. Yes, my lord. Uh, you can move. To a tree yes. line there. Yes. Position to launch a cowardly keep ambush. out of the way of Mordor. <laughs> so next, we should finally get that one turn done to finish that market, which would be good. So we now have 9,000 on hand. So I can actually get the upgrade at Eisenrun, so we'll do that. Borders. I forgot I had My these Lord. guys. Borders. You. My Lord. Borders. As you wish. Together. Your will, my lord. Orders. Your will, my lord. My lord. Orders. Group them together down here, because we'll get the army to march and gather up here. We'll head down this way and we'll, maybe we'll start taking the Mordor forts, for example. Stuff like that. Uh, one more turn there for the knights. My lord. Your will, okay. my lord. Right, not a bad result there. So let's, and we've also got some watchtowers. It looks like this whole region has just lit up on the ma on the campaign map. <laughs> oh, there's M there's M on Hen, right there. Okay. Your orders, my lord. Let's end the turn. See what Mordor does in retaliation. I'd like them to attack Kalanhad. I mean, I say I would like them. I wouldn't like them to attack Kalanhad, but I would also like them to attack Kalanhad so I can actually see these ballista towers in action. Donald Drift attacked. That's fine. Standard. The enemy has surrounded us. We are besieged. 
Wardle's gathering at Rockburg to protect it. Little do they know I'm not even marching towards Rockburg. Looks like the goblins attempted to sally out on Methelburg, but that failed. Entwade is now surrounded. <laughs> oh dear. Most advanced faction, settlement besieged. Altberg is not one of them, which I find very interesting. Uh, we need to get public order improved. It's mostly because of cultural difference. See, cultural unrest is causing the majority of it, so we just need to get our culture up. But we need to get this sorted. Mordor and us are at war. Yes, my lord. Right, you. With honor. Can let's swap you with orders. Yes. Something. By your command. Your orders. My there we go. He is now safe. Annoyingly, I sent him all the way up around this way to just end up in Oldberg again, but that's fine. He's now in a place where I can actually protect him reasonably well. Um, right, well. I think we need to get some more troops recruited. Get some halberds. Onadrith is under siege. Yes, my lord. Have a taste of my I mean, I could attack Rockburg. And wipe that out. What's the culture, Rockburg? 95% Melkor's Shadow, 2% Elven. Imagine if, imagine if I gifted that to the Elves. El Mordor at war with Lorien, still. They are. Okay. Well, I do want to go take care of Isengard, so maybe I'll just bypass Rockburg for the moment and head towards Isengard. With honor, making After all, that is one of our campaign objectives, is to wipe out more Isengard, so... Might as well do that. Your will, my lord. Yes. Your army's ready. You can move. Yes, my lord. Um, army barracks, maybe. Or should I look elsewhere? training to do hmm. right. will, Knights Lord. as you wish. Done. will make camp orders <clears throat> the cavalry can catch up Start gathering the army together. Your will, my lord. How many archers do we have? One, two. Just the two? Orders, my lord. As you wish. Merging armies. Knights in there. Orders. Your will, my lord. Send these guys onwards. They'll gather up, don't worry. They'll they'll get together. Yes, my soon lord. enough. Bit of a drop. Your orders, my lord. Mm. Yes, my lord. With honor. Drops in income that I could really my not lord. afford to, will, to lose. Lord. Orders. Your will, my lord. As you wish. Let's pop you yes. in there. We established you don't have night attack. I'm gonna stick you. There's a lot of Mordor armies <laughs> around Entwade. Oh dear. My lord. Right. Moving on. Approaching quietly. Approaching oh. quietly. There's an Am Amrothian fort with some men holding out there. Nice. My lord. Approaching. There's another quietly. fort with some more men in it. Oh, with the faction leader quietly. in it as well. Goodness me, you have been battered. Approaching quietly. Well, Dole Amroth itself has fallen. Couldn't get to see anything there, so maybe I'll get my spy to my come lord. back to the coast. Maybe I'll be able to spy on that coastline, be able to work out if it's still owned by Dole Amroth or not. A lot of forces gathering around Kalanhad as well. Money. 
Basically, I'm going to have to send a captain. I can't really afford to send a general at this moment in time. That's fine. So this force is gathering. We're pretty much going to be full strength to head down into the west of Gondor. Oh, hello. There's one army there. That's uh, not good. Anolon's garrison's improved with a couple of trolls. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Could go for Don Amroth, for example. That would be an interesting one to take. But then we'd be completely surrounded. The whole point of coming over here is that I'm not too far away from my own territories to get reinforcements, but also because um, there didn't originally there wasn't a lot of enemy troops in this area, but... Uh, it appears to have changed somewhat. That's fine. We'll still send an army down there and see what we can achieve, if anything. Okay. Well, I'm not going to be able to achieve anything this turn, so... Yes, my lord. What lies do you You speak honorably, friend. Farewell. One turn for that. Lovely. Thank you. That'd be great if you could let me finish building my market. Lots of Mordor stacks continuing to pour from the east into the west. Although going in various different directions, so yes, attack me at Entwaite, why not? If the other armies we must can make a stand. disperse, we are besieged. then I can sally out and attack that one. <laughs> the enemy lays siege to our people. Oh, they are attacking Callanhead. Lovely. Just the we one army, though. Vigil as the enemy surrounds us. Oh, no. There's the reinforcement. Damn. Dwarves are still laying siege to Methelberg. Oh, they lost. They got beaten back. And they were doing so well. Random rebel boat. I was gonna say, that's not my boat, is it? <laughs> It didn't just rebel on me. Alright. Yep, that's fine. Oh. I forgot I was recruiting those archers. Look how many troops I've retrained and recruited. Apazani, I didn't realise I was building you there. Whoopsies. What about you? Oh, my economy is suffering significantly now that I am under siege at multiple locations. So, Kalanhad, Onodrith, and Entwade are all under siege. Orders. Yes, my lord. By your command, we can go no further today. Your as you wish, my lord. By your command. Oh, nice moving. We'll make camp here. Your will as you wish. Laying in oh. for the enemy. Entwade owns that fort. Damn. <laughs> Right, let's see my lord. if I can spy on that Approaching coastline. Quietly, my lord. Approaching quietly. How is my path blocked? Okay, they do own double top less. Okay, my that's fine. Lord. Approaching quietly. Tomorrow's journey. Have a taste of my blade. Okay, lots of orcs. Taste of my troll and troll catapult in here so I might be able to knock that out with because I've got one cavalry unit if I can take out I'm gonna maybe the troll catapult you. not really sure if I can yes my lord uh, first captain Mosler taste of my blade. who's in Tirith Anduin two generals and loads of infantry your orders my lord does Gimelzor well have night attack ability? I'm pretty sure he does, doesn't he? Yes, night fighter. Okay, so I could attack these two individually, so that'd be fine. Yes, my lord. Yes, 
Hello, I have arrived. <laughs> I'm here to help. Uh, right, so we want to. I'm gonna stick you. How long does Callan have? Seven turns. Hmm. Seven, six. I'm gonna stick you. Well, I don't obviously. I don't want to end the turn and let them attack me because that'd be a terrible thing to do. Have a taste of my blade. So, my lord, we shall hear you out, but not a bad one. Goodbye. We look forward to our next meeting. My lord, by your command. Some extra troops up there. My lord, yes. Your orders, my lord. And do I attack? The capital straight or should i just go for the first captain? i suppose, just, I, suppose I should go for the first captain first with honor as you command oh no they both have night fighter <laughs> oh no that's not good well that's a bit of a bummer I also have no cavalry in my army, I've just realised. So I can't run down those crossbows. Alright, we'll hold off on that for a second. Damn, I thought I was, I thought I was going to be able to just night fight attack that whole place. Okay, well, I need to get myself into a better position with Mordor first. Smack. It goes to the war with Mordor again. We must again. make a stand. We are besieged. The enemy has surrounded us. We are besieged. Well, there's less forces around Kalanhad now, so I could probably just attack that one outright. We stand vigil as the enemy surrounds us. New general. In our Minoleth as well. Nice. Well, definitely going to attack that this time. I uh, can't really do anything about this. <laughs> Too many troops around Mordor. Uh, sorry, around Entway. So what I should do is get a ceasefire and then get my army out. Also, I just realised I didn't actually go through Entway and delete any buildings, so that was a bit silly. Is there anything in here that they don't, that none of us need? I don't really need that at the moment. Wow, actually, I can use almost every building. In fact, I can use every building. There you go. Yes. Yes. Oh, they've just like bulk recruited some Reavers. We shall engage. We shall prevail. Well, they do outnumber me, and they have crossbows. So, Gimelzor, maybe we can just attack the town and see if we can what damage we can do, something like that. Uh, Goblin Town. Your orders, my lord. Oh, I forgot I had peace with the goblins. <laughs> Not anymore. As you command. 
We shall prevail. Excellent. Yes. So we'll be attacking that as well. Your will, my lord. Right. Orders. Let's gather the forces there. Your will, my lord. By your command. My lord. So that army has just moved. Entweighed away, uh, ended away from Tharagrondost. So I think I am still going to just go for Anulond. Quietly. Looks like the trolls have moved on from there, so I might just go beeline it straight for Anulond. Nice big city, why not? So I think that's probably what I will do. Okay, well. It appears we are going to have quite a lot of battles to deal with. Um, and unfortunately, I don't actually have a lot of time to do them in, so I think I may cut this episode slightly short and we'll start the next chapter with the battle at Goblin Town, the Sally at Callanhad, and a siege at Tirith Anduin. And we'll see how all three of those go. And hopefully, we'll beat back one Mordor force, we'll take another Goblin capital, and uh, we'll have defeated Isengard, maybe. That's the hope. So, join me then in the next chapter where we will deal with all three of those battles. Uh, I hope you enjoyed today's video and I will see you all in the next one.